cold, dark night. <laughs> and so our journey begins. <laughs> yep, we're just heading south. We don't exactly know what, where we're gonna end up. Beetles and millipedes. And the spiders. Goal. And spiders, for sure spiders. See you guys. We would also like to find somewhere with significantly less snow. More snow. They look so happy. <laughs> The good doctor is out traveling the world on another adventure in search of more fine specimens. But he will be so delighted to hear that you stopped by. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Professor Arthur Pod, and I've had the privilege of helping Dr. Crawley gather and prepare this spectacular collection. I've put together a few of our most favorite topics on the monitor below. Please select which one you'd like to learn about first. I'll give you a moment while you decide. Awesome. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Arthur Pod. What you looking at? Insects. <laughs> Hey, that's not an insect. We actually have eastern eyed click beetles in Michigan, too. It's actually the heaviest cockroach in the world. These are diving beetles, and they have some pretty unique adaptations for mating. You should check out a previous video. The link is posted in the description box. These are a species of jewel scarabs. Their species is Chrysina gloriosa. They can be found in the American Southwest. Dung beetles. Mm -hmm. 
really colorful longhorn beetles, one of Steven's favorites. This is the Asian longhorn beetle, and it causes major damage to maple trees, especially on the east coast. Insects don't breathe through their mouths like humans do. They actually breathe through holes on the sides of their bodies called spiracles. These spiracles open and close like windows that let air in and out of the body. Here you can see the spiracles. There's Dynastes granti on the left, and those are from the American Southwest. And Dynastes tidius on the right, and those are from the East. You can see that the males have horns, and the females do not. The males will actually use their horns to fight over females. Yes, walking sticks do walk around, but some of them have wings and they can actually fly.